Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today I'm going to share with you another Tech Tips MediHub app with Google App Sheet. Here is the core function that we have developed for the app. First, multi clinic management. Centralized platform to manage and coordinate multiple clinics efficiently. Second, officer registration. Registration for doctors, pharmacists, administrators, and IT personnel. Allowing easy onboarding and access control. Third, stock control and inventory management. Inventory tracking to manage medical supplies, ensuring adequate stock levels. Support for FIFO method for inventory control. Fourth, patient medical records management. Comprehensive database for storing and organizing patient medical records. Ability to capture and maintain detailed medical histories for each patient. Recording and tracking blood test results for patients with easy accessibility. Fifth, patient appointment system. Scheduling and management of patient appointments efficiently. Minimizing wait times and optimizing clinic schedules. These functionalities can significantly streamline operations, enhance patient care, and improve overall efficiency within the medical hub center or clinic. All right, let's see how it works. In home view, we got the queue list and dispensing list. Followed by the patient appointment in the calendar view. Next is the patient registration. Then stock registration. Then officer registration. Then location registration. Follow by clinic registration. And the last, supplier registration. The available functions are tailored and vary based on specific user access rights and permissions. Different user roles, such as super admin and admin, have distinct levels of access and functionalities within the app. For instance, super admin may access to all available function which inclusive officer registration, clinic registration, checking stock level or stock in for all clinic. While admin may primarily focus on owns clinic information such as patient and stock. Let's dip into the app and let's check the supplier registration form. We break the form into two tabs, the general info and contact info. We are registering the supplier who's supplying the stock. Next, clinic registration, let's check the form. We are registering the clinic here. This function is only available for super admin. Next, let's check the form for location registration. We registering our stock location here, ease for us to stock in later. Only super admin is able to register location for all clinic while admin is only allowed to register for their assigned clinic. Next, let's check the officer registration form. Note that, it is only available to super admin. This is the form, we first enter the clinic the registering officer's on-duty clinic. The clinic listed here is the one that we registered in clinic registration. and other personnel information. Then the designation. And the user access level, super admin and admin. Then the officer contact info. The officer list, we are simulating is like our mobile contact list. First, it group by officer designation and then group and sort by officer's name. Next, let's check the stock registration. 
the stock that we have stock in will be listing here. To serve the FIFO method, stock in item will be listing with different batch. Alright, let's check the form. We break the form into four sections, the general info, quantity info, location info and supplied info. General info storing the item basic info, such as code, photo, name, description. If the item is stocked in before, once we enter the item code, then it, S record will auto pull from database. Next, the quantity info, which recording the stock in quantity. Unit of measurement, and min max stock level and reorder point. Then location for the item to store. Only super admin is able to stock in for all clinic. While the admin is only able to stock in for his on duty clinic. Lastly, the supplier and the expiration date. Let's complete the form. The stocked in item will be listed here. Next, the patient registration. Let's check the form. We break the form into three sections, patient info, contact info, and social history. The registered patients will be listed here, and grouped and sorted by alphabet. Next, patient appointment. The appointment form is very simple, we just have to enter the patient's name, appointment date, and time. For the appointment time, we use different colors to differentiate the availability. Green mean available, yellow mean it already have three patient appointed at that time, while red is full. Let's complete the appointment with 25 November, 10 a.m. Let's create another 10 a.m. appointment. As we see now, once the time is full, then it auto turns into a red font. Next, let's simulate a patient visit. At home view, add the visiting patient to the queue list. The registered patient will be listed in the queue list. And this is the waiting time since the patient registered. Let's add another patient to see the result. And also, the earlier registered patient will be listed at the top. Let's fast forward to check the waiting time. After administrator registering the patient, doctor in the room may click the examination button to start the examination. Patient detail will be listed, such as personnel info, social history, contact info, emergency contact, medical records, history and appointment. Let's start the examination. The examination form is break into three sections, the general info, viral sign and diagnosis treatment plan. We may attach patient blood test report here. And the prescription here. Alright, let's quickly create the medical record.
This is the medical record that we just created. Let's go back to home view, to further check the changes. This is the patient that we examining just now. And this is the examining duration. Doctor may complete the examination by clicking the complete button. Next, pharmacist may dispense the medicine according to the dispensing list. Take a photo of the dispensing medicine. Then marked it as dispensed. Let's examining another patient. All right, we have go through all the available function. If you have other ideas for the app, kindly share them with us in the comment section. And if you are interested with the workshop of the app, kindly leave your message to us in the comment section too. We will prepare and share the workshop later. Thank you for watching, and see you guys in the next video. Bye.